If you could tell Donald Trump anything what would you say? Well if he doesn't get re-elected, my secret fantasy is to go up to him and just say, you're fired. Then walk away into the sunset. Greater than, you're fired. This will 100% be a newspaper headline if he doesn't get re-elected. Obama says don't kill yourself. I'll show Obama by killing myself. Then we'll see you look stupid. Quote. Spell I cup. Spell I hop and then say ness. And since I achieved all my goals as president in one term, there was no need for a second. I have an agreement with my parents that if I die in Afghanistan and they get a call from him, they'll tell him to go fuck himself. Truly love the sentiment. Still don't die. Noob question. Is it common for parents of fallen soldiers to be called by the US president? Also, please do die. At the age of 112. Peaceful. Surrounded by your loved ones. On a tropic island. Playing the guitar solo of your life or something. Whatever you do. Please don't live forever. Thanks. The president often does call the parents of fallen service members. Especially in times of relative peace when deaths are uncommon. However. It's mostly a PR thing emo. Edit. Phrasing. He wouldn't listen. So why bother? The voice in the streets is more than I could ever say. Even those are not getting through to high monsieur. Greater than for comprehension of simple matters. One needs an open mind. Donald doesn't have one and his Twitter is the proof. Sun Tzu. You were horrible in Home Alone too. Too far. You can judge a man for his honor and pride. But you never judge a man about his Home Alone 2 performance. That if he really wanted to piss off the left he should decriminalize marijuana and release non-violent offenders as time served, promote POC entrepreneurship to help establish better economic opportunities in minority neighborhoods, and apply presidential pressure to police agencies to make operational policies transparent to their communities. God that would make us so angry, he's too pussy, he would never do it look of triumph. Tell him Obama hated those things the most. You've been such an utter disappointment your entire life. Your life's work has been meaningless and no one will remember you or care who you were in a hundred years. All the braggadocio in the world won't make up for your small hands, small penis, and general lack of intellect. Your mother was disappointed in you. Your father was disappointed in you. And your children only view you as a tool of means through which money and superficial power is extracted you are nothing you have always been nothing and you will always be nothing you are no one's friend no one actually cares about you people laugh at you behind your back and secretly make fun of your small hands and idiocy when you're not there everyone knows you're bald and that you paint your face orange they laugh about it all of the people you think like you laugh about your bad comb over an orange face after you leave the room is here the world would have been and would be better off without you. Lol and remember when all those people booed you at the baseball game. Jesus Christ dude, he was dead by the fifth line. Fuck you. Nothing beats a classic. Absolutely nothing. He doesn't care and doesn't listen. I wouldn't waste my breath. Nothing. He's not worth my time and clearly he doesn't take advice from sane people. Bro gimme Kanye's number. Oh, 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 I once saw Joe Biden have sex with a bottle of ketchup while wearing Hulk Hogan's wrestling outfit. Then I'd sit back, relax and wait for the tweet debate and watch a completely even more absurd situation than usual. Unfold. You have the academic firepower of a water gun. Stay off Twitter. That'll just make him tweet more. This guy, he told me. You know what he told me? stay off Twitter. I never liked the guy. He wasn't a very good guy. And I know people. I told them he wasn't a good guy. Edit. You know. I feel I lost it at the end. I am not a good impersonator. You have to go on more random tangents. Also Trump considers it more insulting to say he doesn't know someone. Finally. He always repeats a subject at least twice usually in a hypothetical and finishes with a non sequitur. 
So if we were to rewrite this it would be This guy, I don't know him, never even heard of him This guy told me to stay off Twitter Can you believe that? Stay off Twitter Nasty guy just nasty And people always tell me They tell me, we love tweets Obama, get fucked you baby back bitch Baby bunker bitch Everyone is laughing at you Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.